Hello everyone, it's Max from Pushwash with a new release notes episode. Today I'll show you a few new features for smaller analytics. In Pushwish you've got all the tools to design and launch beautiful in-app messages. But what happens when your in-app reaches the user? Do they click on the call to action buttons? Do they close the pop-up immediately? Now you can find it out with our enhanced rich media statistics report. Pushwish offers a heat map showing the distribution of all clicks on the in-app message. Whether users clicked to convert or to close your message because they were not interested, you will see it for yourself. You can dive deeper into your rich media analytics and review the detailed information about interactions, further user behavior, list of reached users, and channels where the specific template is currently in use or was used recently. Ok, conversion is the ultimate goal of your messaging campaign. But what other actions do users take between receiving your message and triggering the conversion event? You can find it out with the new conversion funnel chart. You can build a funnel based on any events of your choice. As an example, we'll show you one using three simple default events that are available as soon as you've integrated Pushwish SDK. Why would you make a funnel from these events? What insights could you seek? Let's see. From our example funnel, we can see what share of active users viewed a specific screen. If it's a subscription plans page, that will be precious data for us. Then we can see how many users dropped off the screen. They minimize the app instead of hitting the subscription button. This is how we can evaluate the audience that should be engaged more before they convert. And here it is, the visual representation of the user path to conversion. To understand your messaging performance even better, there is another new report. Imagine you send a push notification to quite a broad user segment. Surely you can see all the needed statistics post messaging, CTR and conversion rate, but it's only the total. You have no idea what kind of users engaged with your offer. Men? Women, those who have a birth the next week, those who've paid for a subscription. How do you gain such insights? There's a segment insights report for that. This is a way to gain insights on a past campaign and ideas for a next slide. With these new features, you can make your regular analytics more insightful and you'll be one step away from better performance. That's all for today, as always please stay tuned for our next product releases and have a great holiday season!